Kaylee Bull Photography says, I took photos of a baby the other day and the house was really dark. I didn't set my camera right. My photos aren't sharp. And they're super ridiculously grainy. Uh, the ISO was really high. And she's shooting at a crop aperture camera. And the shutter was wrong. So... <laughs> That's a hard lighting situation. Anytime it's dark, you really need want to introduce flash. Uh, probably the best scenario without buying anything else is if you have the flash on your camera. If you're in a room, if you have the flash on your camera, you point it back and away. Uh, you cut, So you point it kind of down, not all the way down, but kind of halfway down and then up into the ceiling. Because if you have light shattering behind you, then all of a sudden that whole area becomes a light source itself. So if you're shooting that light backwards, instead of pinpointing that light and shooting it forwards like a deer in headlights, shooting the light and concentrating it right in one spot, you point it backwards and it shatters all over the wall. And then as that light comes forward, it's coming from such a big source that it ends up looking really soft when it hits people. So when I, when I say soft, I mean... Uh, Let's do the opposite. So let's talk about hard light. Imagine if the sun's shining down on you and you can see your shadow directly on. You can kind of cut your shadow out with with scissors. It's so clear. That's uh, harsh light. That's hard light where the, the light source is so clean and crisp and clear that it just can make a shadow that you can cut out with scissors. Uh, versus if you have softer light where that line in the shadow isn't quite as defined or maybe you can't cut it out with scissors because it's kind of it's kind of more murky it's not this clear definition of a of a cutout um, that's soft light and it looks really 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 good the, and the way you get it is by having a large light source so back to what we were saying before as you shoot that flash backwards and it hits the ceiling hopefully a white room um, as that light reflects back it ends up being a large light source, which then which then blankets your subject uh, with light from all over, and gives them a really soft glow.